and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you like the content, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. All right guys, so today we are gonna be taking a look at another one of the guitars out of my collection. Uh, this here is one of my George Lynch signature models. I've got two signature models, but uh, this one here is the GL200MT. Uh, obviously this is the LTD version of George's famous ML1 Tiger guitar. Anyway, I've had this guitar for quite a few years now. Um, I play it quite frequently. You guys have probably seen it in a lot of tutorials, videos, and rapid licks. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys kind of a candid overview uh, on this guitar. I'll give you the specs on it, as well as some comments and impressions and just uh, my opinions on this piece since you know I've had it for quite a while now and I still play it regularly. Oh, I will say, if you're looking for tones, uh, I will leave those more towards the end of the video, so just use the timestamps there. I'm not gonna do a ton on this just because these have been around forever. Uh, there's a lot of really good reviews uh, on this guitar, on this pickup, how it sounds. I'll do a little bit, I'll do some clean tones and I'll do something kind of rocky because that's probably what you guys really wanna hear, right? Right. Okay, enough of that. Let's go. All right, so a couple things to chat about with this. Uh, obviously, this is a super strat. Um, basically, this thing is molded off of the guitar that George Lynch, I guess, more or less built himself and then had a friend paint back in the late 70s, early 80s. And uh, yeah, this is really a tribute to that guitar. I will say that if you're unfamiliar with George Lynch, pause this video, go watch some classic Doc and stuff. In fact, go watch like anything George Lynch has ever done. The guy is just an absolute phenom of a player. Probably one of the best players out of the 80s. Just really incredible phrasing, soaring solos. Highly recommend anything George Lynch has ever done. Fantastic player. All right, guys, let's get into the specs. So first things first, obviously we've got a really awesome Tiger finish on this thing. Uh, this is of course off the ML1. Uh, really nice uh, yellow Bengal tiger kind of look. You can see here that the sides are kind of uh, a lighter color, a little bit more on the white side. Looks really great. Uh, obviously it's a super strat, so the body shape is very much like a Stratocaster, similar, which makes sense because if I'm not mistaken, uh, George's homemade guitar way back when was more of that kind of body style, full size strat kind of look. So definitely not a dinky, more of a full size kind of body. Um, the material used to produce this itself is uh, basswood or basswood, depending on how you want to pronounce that. So it's not super heavy, fairly light. Uh, obviously you've just got one humbucker here and a Floyd Rose style trim. This is a Floyd Rose special. Um, one volume knob because, I mean, this is hair metal. That's all you really need, right? As far as creature comforts and access and cutaways and all that stuff goes, um, obviously you get yourself a belly cut right up here. And you got a little bit of a, a curve back here for your arm while you're playing. And this is fairly nice. I don't know if I get this to show. This is kind of beveled and recessed here at the heel, which is pretty comfortable, quite nice to play. I really enjoy that. Makes things a little bit easier if you are up here noodling around, you know, up on the 22nd fret or something like that. So pretty cool. As you can see here, the pickup is ESP branded. That is an LH150B. Uh, that's what it's called. I'm gonna go ahead and guess the B designation probably stands for bridge. I will say, I really like this pickup. I have no intention of changing it. A lot of guys seem to change these out for Duncans and stuff like that, but honestly, I've been using this for probably four years now with this pickup, and I quite like the sound. It's a super hot sounding pickup. It doesn't take uh, take much pick attack to get a squeal out of it, which is really nice. So uh, yeah, I quite like that. I'll, I'll do some playing more at the back and you guys can hear what it actually sounds like, but pretty decent pickup. Now the bridge on here, I don't know if you can see that, that is indeed a Floyd Rose Special. Now this is an older one obviously because this is an older guitar. I figure this is probably around 2009 or so, this particular one. Uh, this is back when Floyd Rose Specials were being made in Korea and the quality on them was still pretty darn good. Uh, I will say compared to the newer Floyd Rose Specials, this is a much better unit. Um, I really need to do a video on that. Quality on the Floyd Rose Specials since like 2020 has just gone to absolute crap. I think they've changed where they're producing them. Not 100% sure, but maybe I'll do a video on that and talk about it later on. Uh, anyway, yeah, but this bridge, uh, this is obviously kind of a different finish from your standard, you know, chrome or black that you see the Floyd Rose Specials. This is kind of like a black chrome, really sharp looking bridge. Uh, obviously the nut up here matches that as well, which is pretty nice, as well as a little string retainer bar, which is very cool. Really solid unit. Uh, I abuse the crap out of this. Stays in tune like a champ. All right, the neck. So we have ourselves a fairly flat neck. This is called a, a Slim U Profile. Uh, it's quite comfortable. It's a little bit bulkier up here, uh, you know, in the, uh, the lower frets, but quite comfortable. And then as you get down here, it feels flatter. I'm not sure if it's actually flattening or maybe this is just an illusion by the way that that joins at the heel. But to me, it feels like it tapers and gets a bit thinner up here. It feels really good, really easy to play. It gives me great access up here. I mean, we're looking at, you know, obviously 22 frets. No problem whatsoever getting up here and noodling around like a moron, which is fantastic. 
The frets themselves, these are supposed to be uh, extra jumbles if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, you can probably see they do look huge, so I'll buy that. The scale length on this obviously being a Super Strat is indeed based off more of the Fender styles. So we're looking at 25 and a half inches. So if you're more used to that kind of scale length, this is of course gonna feel very normal and very comfortable. Uh, obviously the neck is made out of maple and you'll never guess what, the fingerboard also made out of maple. Oh, uh, one thing I will mention, if you get up here to the 12th fret, you can see right there, there's a nice inlay which states the model that this guitar is, which is a pretty cool little touch there. So good job, LTV. I like that. Uh, the headstock itself is painted as well to match just like the body. Uh, good looking headstock, nice quality finish on there. Uh, again, these tuners do match the uh, the Floyd Rose Special, which is on there, which is quite nice. Let me see if I can get that in there and you can see it. They say ESP on the back of them, which is pretty sweet. Um, these are pretty good tuners. Honestly, no complaints from me. The ratios feel excellent. They're very smooth to use. So yeah, I can't complain at all. And of course you can see here on the back, uh, it's upside down, but you can see it says it's made in China. Uh, again, based on the serial number, I believe this one was made in 2009 or so, so it's a bit of an older one. Now, the backs of these necks, I'm quite certain when these shipped, they came kind of more like a satin finish because the back of my headstock here feels like satin, but it almost feels like gloss back here. But I'm going to be honest with you, it only feels like gloss up until about here on the heel where your hand wouldn't touch it. So I have a suspicion it's probably just been played and loved quite a bit, so it's, it's starting to feel pretty darn smooth. Definitely not a satin finish on this one, but still a very quick neck. All right, so clean tones. I'm obviously gonna do everything on the bridge. That's all we have is one bridge and one position only. There's no fancy wiring going on here. This is just, you know, non-split humbucker straight through the clean channel of my Blackstar HT50 uh, Mark I. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, like I was saying, this is a clean channel. This pickup really is quite high output. You can hear it's really pushing my amp into breakup. I'm not doing anything here, folks. I'm just playing a little bit harder and the attack is enough to push it into a little bit of breakup. So quite a hot pickup, but I think it sounds pretty good. Okay, the Rocky stuff. That is my review on this GL200 MT LTD George Lynch signature model. I've had this guitar for many, many years in my collection. I bought it used. Uh, this used to actually be not too expensive many, many years ago, of course, before the pandemic and all the prices went to lunch. But I think these can still be purchased new and they're around $1,000 plus Canadian. Again, keep your eyes open on the used market. They do pop up. Uh, yeah, and if you've got an 80s hair metal itch that you just need to scratch, this will most certainly take care of that and then some. Don't be expecting though a gajillion tones out of this thing obviously with the setup. All you're getting is bridge bucker, volume, that is all. But really that's all you need. Anyway, great guitar. I like this thing. Love it to death. Definitely helps me get my dock and fix in when I'm feeling like playing some classic George Lynch licks. So uh, yeah, great guitar. Anyway guys, I hope you found this somehow useful or informative. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit like and subscribe and help this channel grow a little bit. And as per usual, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye for now.